And for Romero, he was the first ever homegrown for Crown Legacy. So two youngsters in the middle, along with Philip Mayaka for the home side. Now for the away side and Atlanta coming off a 2-2 draw. They earn the extra point versus Columbus. Two changes in the lineup for the five stripes. Matias Gallardo, who had a goal and an assist in the last match, the former River Plate Academy man, will be in the starting lineup this evening. And in the starting lineup and appearing for the first time is Rodrigo Neri, the number nine at the top. Whistle is blown by Velmir Stefanovic. And we begin Atlanta United 2 taking on Brown Legacy. Slips to Noble Okello. Tracks back to Firmino. That's where he likes to get busy. He's blocked away by Aaron John. Constant pressure now. Firmino can't find. Tamimi, now this is Javier Armas. Slips to Chong Ki, takes the touch, and can't finish the job. He was deemed offside. But Dominic Chong Ki looking for goals in three straight matches, and that was a great chance. You see it, knew it as he mishit it. Ball is taken away. Adunzi will come off the line to grab it. And Atlanta is putting and turning the screws right now throughout these first 10 minutes on the road. And this is what they have to do if they want to take down Crown Legacy. Late foul call. Now Armas. Firmino. Back to Centeno. Sends in the cross. Firmino is stopped by Adunzi. The buildup has been beautiful from Atlanta, but they just have not been able to finish as Firmino flew up for that one. But Chaturu Adunzi held his ground. Crown Legacy has to do something and will have to do it quick because the hinges on the door aren't and these young players continue to grow. Brandon Cambridge brings the ball a long way and his shot is blocked in the end by Ephraim Morales. Kello with an excellent ball into Gallardo, a chance for him to attack. Tamimi will catch up to this, cuts it back in front, and Firmino sharing that he wanted the ball more towards goal. Cambridge races around Armas. Cambridge sends it in, and it's a tapping goal for Dylan Sieg. Five goals on the season now for Singh in Crown Legacy. Scores on the counter and leads 1-0. Brandon Cambridge knew his speed and went right around Javier Armas. And then it was only gets as far as Brandon Cambridge. Armas into Firmino. Now... Oh, Dunze will get to that as Gallardo fluttered the ball towards the back post. Dunze quickly plays it into Brian Romero. Now Jelani Forbes. Forbes. 
Cannot get around Gallardo, who quickly sends the ball back into play. Rodrigo Neri. Firmino. Aiden Moore to Dominic Chanqui. I have not heard very much from Rodrigo Neri outside of that early chance. That's the player that Atlanta really wants to get involved. Coach Cook sharing that if he can be a real option, he can really change the way we play offensively. How do they find him? How do they create opportunities to get him in possession? Okello flips out wide to John Kui. And his errant touch gives the ball away to Josue Rodriguez. Cambridge goes around John Kui into open space. Another ball looking to go behind. And Jaden Hibbert comes off his line. Caden Moore gets to that. Now 15 appearances. Rodriguez seeing a little dump into Cambridge. Cambridge! Just wide. And he cannot believe it. This was a wonderful ball into Cambridge. And he just could not spot that top corner. Hibbert hammers this away, and that's how the first half comes to a close. Time for the second half between Atlanta United 2 and Crown Legacy as Valmir Stefanovic blows his whistle, and we begin from the Sportsplex in Matthews, North Carolina. Firmino goes in the fourth gear, goes around one defender, could not continue his attack. Sango Kiza sends back to Adunze. Okello heads this to Armas. Firmino to Mimi. Shot! And Adunze just gets a touch. Push it over the bar. To Mimi just trying to get on his favorite foot. And you see that big 6-6 six, six frame of Chaturu Adunze. Had to use all of it to stretch for that one. Now Matias Gallardo. All the way out to Chong Ki. Kareem Tamimi will Chimini come off is number 38, for Ethan Dudley. And replacing Alan Carlton. Caden Moore is number 41. And Caden Moore will come off for Ethan Dudley. And so to Mimi, who was close on a couple of occasions on maybe picking up another booking. A smart decision to get him off the pitch. Alan Carlton, a different type of player, more of a connector. Less of a goal score in comparison to Tamimi. But Carlton is very good technically. And then Ethan Dudley comes on for Caden Moore. Dudley, one of the best stories of the season for Atlanta. Gachardo. <laughs> Down the line to Eric Centeno. Centeno, a nice touch. Neary! Stonewalled by Odunze. Talk about unselfish. Centeno sliding, sends this right to Rodrigo Neary. And Odunze with the kick save to keep the scoreline 1 0. Whatever goal you're saving for, we're all better off with an ally. 
Ally, the official bank of Charlotte FC. Ally Bank, member FDIC. Matias Gachardo. Takes this corner. Rising is Dudley. He has to get his minutes. But Ethan Dudley just sticks to his role. He's trying to make a career out of it. That's just something that's very commendable. Corner kick coming for Crown Legacy. Jelani Forbes, who's been on a bit of a heater scoring, will take this corner. He has four goals in as many matches. He'll play a different role here. Unless, of course, he scores an Olympic coach. Forbes right to Aaron John, and it's just wide. Sanchez quickly has to jump into the action, sliding, trying to stop Aaron John. This ball sent out wide to Forbes. He brings it down, cuts it in. Cambridge, and there's a point to the spot. Cambridge was first to the ball, took a touch, and, a penalty kick has and been given to Crown Legacy. was then upended. And a for sure penalty for Crown Legacy. Here it is again from Forbes. As he cut the ball right across, it was Dudley who broke down. But Cambridge right off of his leg. That's going to be a penalty kick for Crown Legacy. An opportunity for them to take a two-goal lead. Brandon Cambridge. He scored the first ever goal in Crown Legacy history last year versus Huntsville. Calmly puts this in for his first goal of 2024. Two nil Crown Legacy in front of Atlanta. Brandon Cambridge. Carlton brings it down. And now it's turned over. This is Dylan Singh. Singh goes over Hibbert, but misses the open goal. Singh once again holding things up. John cannot scurry around. Morales, Akello, a nice little move. And there's a foul on the slide from Sango Kiza. At Atrium Health, we don't just treat part of you, we treat all of you so you can enjoy those winning moments that matter. Atrium Health, the official health care partner of Charlotte FC. 74th minute. And Crown Legacy leads by two goals. Dylan Singh scoring in the first half off an assist by Brandon Cambridge. And then Brandon Cambridge contacted within the box. He took the penalty, and he has a goal. This is Firmino. And Atlanta is on the board. If there was one guy you could call on, it was Nick Firmino. Had 16 goals last season and now has his second of 2024. Atlanta goals for And Atlanta is back in it after the mat mishap by Jack Neely. Firmino finds the back of the Nick Firmino. Swiveling forward. 
Firmino still into the box. And Adunze saw it the entire way. Centeno crosses the ball in. And Aiden Torres, it dropped so kindly for him, but he could not keep it on frame. And the match ends with Crown Legacy surviving.